Welcome to my channel and if you're new here thanks for coming if you're returning thanks for coming back this is the end of week one of my weight loss journey to Hogwarts and I'm very excited because I lost five pounds this week which is a big deal because usually I'm losing about two to three pounds on program but I upped my exercising and I made sure I was sticking on program with my food and not letting myself cheat at all which, in the end, I got rewarded with five pounds. Now, I know that won't be typical, but I'm very proud and excited that it happened. And, normally, when... Which brings me to the topic that I am planning on talking about today, which is rewarding yourself. I am proud of the fact that I lost five pounds and sometimes I feel like that deserves a reward. Now old me would be like, yo girl you're looking so good, you deserve cheese fries, maybe some chicken fingers and a small milkshake, just a teeny one, because you did so good. And I would do that and I would eat it and then I would gain back the weight. So. <laughs> This time around, I'm going to try to do things a little bit differently. Rewarding myself with something that's not food. And that brings me to my three rules for my personal self. Number one is it can't be food. I can't reward myself even with something small because I won't know how to stop after just that one small fun food thing. It could be chocolate, it could be anything. Because I'm a very all or nothing person. Either I'm all in something or I'm kind of, see you later, <laughs> you know, I'm all out. And right now I'm trying to choose the healthier food options and choose that. So I'm all in on being healthy right now. And the reason why I don't choose food is because of the fact that it's a temporary reward that in the end has a negative effect on the outcome and the goal. It only sets me back. And I don't want to be set back anymore. I want to keep going. Which brings me to number two. is something I would be proud to show off. Um, simple as that. Something that showcases that the fact that you lost weight. It pushes you further towards your goal. Number three. Something that makes me feel good and happy and is a reward. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit of the things that I use as rewards. I like to get my eyebrows waxed because then my eyebrows look real good. And that's sometimes expensive so I can justify it if I lose weight because then getting it done makes my makes me feel really great about myself and then I look a lot better in my opinion <laughs> and I have that reward because I know that I earned it and I was able to lose the weight and I got a reward from it the other thing that I use is clothing so back here I have a couple shirts that are a little too small for me right now, but they're cute. <laughs> that I can't quite fit in yet. Um, most of the, They're all Walmart purchases, but I was very excited about. Um, and I try them on from time to time to see if they fit. Um, so that I can wear them during exercising or that I can wear them out and show show people that I have lost weight because it is a smaller size. Now I bought these shirts in the youth girl so they're a little snug for me right now but I know that I'll be able to fit into them soon and when I can I will show you guys how they look on me once they fit. Right now they're really really tight. The other thing I actually bought this cardigan from Hot Topic. 
I love it. Um, I bought it a couple sizes small for me. Now you can see it does fit a little bit. It's a little tight. The thing that I'm working towards is trying to get the buttons to lay flat. But until that point, <laughs> one day they'll fit properly. I usually wear it open because it does fit a little bit and but it's really cute and when I go do Harry Potter things I got my Ravenclaw gear on because I am a Ravenclaw. Ca -ca. <laughs> but I have a special thing that I actually have been waiting and I'm not allowed to open it until I get to under 300. Um, my husband is holding me accountable. He let me use this to show you guys. It is a Kigurumi. It's a panda Kigurumi. It's called Dreaming Panda, which it is pastel colors. If you haven't noticed, my favorite color is pink. But this thing is super cute. Look at the little stars. I don't know if you can see it. But the stars on it. Super cute. Anyways, I've been wanting one of these forever and they were having a sale. And I convinced my husband to let me buy it and use it as a reward and he is fully supportive of that and he, so I bought this and it's sitting in an area where he can kind of see and make sure I haven't stolen it to try it on it has not been opened except for it does have a little button up flap that keeps coming undone for some reason so I keep reclosing it but has not been open to be tried on yet and it currently wouldn't fit me anyways because um, my hips are so large and the widest hip measurement is like 58 even though uh, fleece fabrics do have a little bit of a stretch because they um, are knitted fabrics uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't look very good on me maybe I wouldn't be able to button it up so my thought was, oh, if I'm under 300, I probably can fit into it. Now, when I get to my under 300, I will try it on for you guys and we can see if it fits. And I'll be super excited about that. And I may even start in that when I get to that. Um, but that's a little off, so it's just something that I can work towards and I'm excited about it. So I just encourage you as you may begin your weight loss journey to find things that you can use as a reward that's not food that would make you happy and that would build up your self-confidence so that you can continue on your weight loss journey um anyways right before we go i'm going to roll out the pink tape so you can see where my measurements were and now where they are now And before we go, and just remember, reward yourself. You deserve it, especially if you are losing weight and trying to stay focused on the end goal. And just remember, I'm here to support you. If you need any loving, I can give you love in a cheerfulness um, <laughs> and try to help you and support you as you're doing your weight loss journey. Thank you again for coming and at the end of this video I'm going to have a picture of front and side so that we can start seeing a more of a comparison of what my shape looks like and how it's changing as I'm losing weight. Alright, love you all. See you next week on this journey to Hogwarts.